top five scary clown sightings. The Cemetery Clown. Julia Graham and her husband were driving by the Ravenswood Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois around 10 p.m. when they noticed something truly chilling. They see a clown run toward the seven foot tall spike cemetery gate and climb over. Julia Graham managed to grab her phone and quickly snap a picture of the clown as he scaled the cemetery gate. The couple then circled back around for another look, focusing their headlights toward the cemetery gates as Julia begins filming. Sure enough, the clown was now inside the locked cemetery gates, staring back at them. He begins to slowly wave at them as Julia films. Suddenly, without warning, the clown turns and runs off into the darkness of the closed cemetery. Workers at the Ravenswood Cemetery found the clown footage unnerving but they say they have not seen or received any complaints of vandalism on the cemetery grounds. Michigan Clown Hit and Run Social media is overrun with video posts of people who claim to have been chased or threatened by scary clowns while driving in their cars. One of the most common comments on these videos goes something along the lines of, hey, if that was me, I would have just run over that clown. Well, in one video, a group of teens in Michigan supposedly has an encounter with a scary clown, and they do just that. They run over the clown when he attacks their car. Hey, f what are you doing? Don't shut the fuck off. The Jacksonville Clowns Believe it or not, the creepy clown phenomenon is nothing new. In fact, no list of creepy clown sightings would be complete without mentioning the Jacksonville Clowns, a series of strange clown sightings that occurred in a neighborhood in Jacksonville, Florida, two years ago, around this same time of year. Jacksonville clowns would approach private homes late into the night, entering the security gates, and seemingly aware that they were being recorded by the house's security system. The clowns would either simply stand watching the house, perform for the camera, or actually make threatening gestures toward the security camera, sometimes even destroying Halloween decorations. Although the multiple acts of trespassing and vandalism were reported to police, no arrests were ever made. To this day, no one knows the identity of the Jacksonville clowns. Sparks Clown. A group of friends in Sparks, Nevada were on the way to the store when one of them spotted what appeared to be a clown near the Reed High School softball field. Yo, he was just right here. I'm dead, sure. The group doubles back to check out the strange sighting. They get more than they bargain for when they find out that the strange figure is not only dressed in a bizarre clown outfit, but he's also carrying a machete. Yo, what the fuck, yo? Hey, what are you doing? Yo, that's a fucking machete. That has to be a fucking machete. Yo, he's not doing anything. He's just fucking standing there looking at us. At first, the group doesn't take the situation seriously. Yo, just fucking standing They begin there. to taunt the clown, out, who remains motionless. <laughs> No, when the man. clown reacts, oh, they all run for their lives back to their car. The clown disappears back into the darkness of the softball fields. Sparks Nevada police say that they received multiple calls about a strange armed man dressed as a clown that night. However, no arrests were ever made. Dude, fuck that. 
Nah, man, nah. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Ah! Ding Dong Ditch Clown. There have been a rash of creepy clown sightings in the Topeka, Kansas area. Sometime in the middle of the night, a couple in Topeka, Kansas is startled awake by someone ringing their doorbell. The doorbell only rings once, so they assume the late night interruption must just be some local kids playing a prank. They don't go to the door. However, the next day when the couple reviews their front door surveillance footage, they are terrified by what they find. The footage reveals a strange disheveled clown staring aimlessly at their doorway while holding a machete in his hands. The clown rings the doorbell, then seems to either run away or possibly hide outside the doorway. As I mentioned previously, the couple never answered the door, but it leaves one to wonder just what might have happened if they had answered the door that night.